Welcome to Miles' Mock 2023. We're just over a month away from the NFL Draft where the Falcons hold the number eight overall pick for the second year in a row. Instead of doing your classic NFL Mock Draft, we're going to talk about prospects who I think the Falcons will target at that number eight pick. But before we go into who I think that might be, let's talk about guys who I don't think the Falcons will target there. First, it's the three quarterbacks, C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, and Anthony Richardson, generally considered to be the best prospects in this draft class. The Falcons have met with them, but I don't think that's the direction the Falcons will go, given what they've said about Desmond Ritter. So. Here are the position needs that I think we're going to be talking about. Edge rusher, we've been talking about it for 10 years now. Cornerback, offensive line, and wide receiver. But first, we're going to talk edge rushers. Jalen Carter, not necessarily an edge rusher, but can get to the quarterback. Lucas Van Ness, Nolan Smith, Tyree Wilson, and Will Anderson Jr. generally considered the top in this draft class. But who am I going to talk about first? Dog fans are going to like this one. Jalen Carter, at one point, was considered the top prospect in this draft class. But some mock drafts of having him or having him fall to pick number eight for the Atlanta Falcons due to some off field concerns. We're going to get to that in a minute, though. On the field, Jalen Carter has been a force to be reckoned with with the back to back national champion Georgia Bulldogs, perhaps a key member of arguably the greatest defense of all time in college football, playing with guys like Trayvon Walker, who went number one overall last year. Here's the spark notes on him. Six career sacks, 18 and a half tackles for loss, and his former head coach Kirby Smart calling him a generational talent. You know he knows a thing or two about generational talents coaching the Georgia Bulldogs as well as the Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, what are the concerns with Jalen Carter? At his pro day, he came in nine pounds overweight and wasn't able to finish some drills due to being gassed as well as some off-field concerns that occurred after the national championship parade. But say the Atlanta Falcons do take a chance on Jalen Carter and he falls right in their lap at pick number eight. Suddenly, you pair a generational talent, in the words of Kirby Smart, with Grady Jarrett, a Pro Bowl player, and you have one of the best interior defensive lines in the NFL. Add that to some other additions in the secondary like Jesse Bates with AJ Terrell. Suddenly the Atlanta Falcons defense is a force to be reckoned with after once being considered a weak point. We'll see what happens next week.